Hey, it's Mr. D in the middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with some teaching tips for lesson five, day one of level two S cube middle school sightseeing program for beginners. We're about to take a very sharp turn here, um, helping our beginners to learn to understand the why of key signatures. And um, in my own experience, doing it with my own beginners, who 95% of them have never played an instrument or had private lessons, this is a tricky turn that we have to be very careful to take uh, one step at a time, the way we do everything with S cubed. And today, our goal is to awaken them uh, to prepare them to start to look at key signatures and understand their function. Um, I don't do a circle of fifths. I want to do things through just awakening their brains and letting them hear it and when possible feel it and see it. That's always what they've got to do in this setting because uh, I don't have 85 keyboards for my 85 eighth grade students. Um, they've got to, we got to find other ways to do it. So. Um, today they're going to have a written warm-up where they're asking questions, where I'm asking them questions about things they already know regarding half steps and whole steps, things we taught in S-Cubed original series. Then uh, they have a listening exercise. I want them to hear the difference between some things, which I'll go through in a minute. And then I'm going to show a slide about what is the purpose. And just I just want them sitting there going, okay, where are we headed? What's happening? And then um, they're going to sing major, minor, chromatic scale connecting them. And I've got all the instructions about that in uh, the PowerPoints. So, um, the written and oral warm-up, uh, uh, there are four questions, and um, your job is just to get them to uh, answer them to the best of their ability. When you ask questions about key signature, they may say, I have no idea really what it does. It helps me find dough. That's what they know. And so uh, we want to just get them thinking and letting them uh, share what they know. And probably the answers you get are going to be based on what you taught them in the original series, which is fine. Um, then we're going to have a listening exercise. And all the directions are inside there. Um, and I'm going to give them the handout that's written in the PowerPoint. Uh, I want them to keep it inside their folder. It's regarding the whole, uh, whole half arrangements because they're going to need to refer to it all the time as they're completing the exercises over the next several weeks. This is a really important um, thing for them to keep and uh, to refer to a lot. Um, then I'm going to have another um, listening exercise. You'll see it in the PowerPoint that will help them hear what happens uh, uh, when we play starting on a different pitch. Um, you'll see when you see the PowerPoint. And then the purpose of the key signature, I'm just going to describe in the most simplistic way possible and tell them what we're going to be doing over the next several weeks. So you'll see that in the PowerPoint as well. And then we're going to sing in uh, all three scales, major, minor, chromatic, and I've shown you how I connect them here and you'll hear my own students do it. And, um, and I'm just going to refer to the sound of those, which they've sung in my classroom before. But if you haven't done it, I describe how I do it. Um, and we'll talk about um, why those sound the way they do, uh, just very briefly. And then I'm going to leave it and let it go until tomorrow. And then we're just going to continue to unravel one piece at a time very slowly over the next several weeks using the information they learned in lessons one through uh, four about you know naming notes all those things have to be solidly in place so hopefully you've done your tutoring for the kids who maybe aren't quite getting it yet and you've passed all of that so everybody's got to be solid with lessons one through four or many people will get left in the dust in this moment and that's never a good thing so keep them caught up get sit down with them use your peer tutoring all the tools so that they can really uh, unravel a lot of this this is really high level thinking that we're asking of them, but they are ready. We just have to be careful as we proceed. All right. Have a great day. Hope that helps.